This is Lyric. You may remember him from the video that showed how to become a SEMRO member. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it now. So, Lyric, now that you're a member, you can start spending those mad royalties, right? Not exactly. It's a little more complicated than that. To explain how this all works, let's introduce the amazing SEMRO distribution machine. Isn't it awesome? It's not a real machine. It's symbolic. Just go with it. The thing is that musicians are often so excited about making music that they don't take the time to learn how the SEMRA machine works and that means they think they are going to get paid and when they don't, there are riots and mayhem. And nobody likes that. To make sure that doesn't happen, we want to teach you the inner workings of the SEMRA distributions machine so you don't need to get worked up. Here's what happens. See, the money goes in here. It comes from all kinds of different music users. And then the machine does some stuff and the money pops out the other side in the form of royalties that get paid to you. Still with me? Good. So far, not too complicated. Now here's where it gets tricky. You see, the Samro machine works according to Samro's financial year, which is from July of the current year to June of the following year. Royalty income is also calculated retrospectively which means if your music was active this year, you'll only be paid next year. Anyway, this sometimes causes confusion because people expect to be paid at a certain time and they aren't. And then there are riots and the burning of things. And that's bad. The next thing you need to know is that the Samra machine works according to how active your work is. If your music is very active across various mediums, it means it is being used a lot out there. The Samra machine works over time, which means more licenses are being issued and more money is being collected, which means a bigger payout for you. Party time! But hold up, it gets more complicated. You see, the Samra machine doesn't pay out everything all in one go. That would overload the machine and then it would probably poof, explode. And that would be bad, okay? So, we have four different distributions, four separate times when royalties are paid for different kinds of music usage. The first distribution happens between February and March and it's called Radio and General. This is the payout for money collected from, you guessed it, radio broadcasts and music used in places like malls, pubs, restaurants, shops, stuff like that. The second is TV distributions, which happens between March and April, which, surprise, is money you get if your music has been used on, yep, TV. The next is foreign distribution, which happens in July and December. These are royalties you get if your music is used abroad. Maybe you're big in Japan, it's possible. Lastly, in October, there's film distribution. Like the name says, this is for music that has been used in films. Now to make things even more complicated, we also have something called post-distribution, which are monthly payouts to settle up any outstanding money from the big four distributions that for some or other reason didn't get paid to you at the time. Like I said, you only get paid out if your music was broadcast in the previous financial year. So there's no guarantee that you'll receive royalties at each distribution. So if you don't, don't hate the machine, get your music out there. All money from any of these distributions gets paid directly into your bank account. And as a Samro member, you can check up on your previous distributions on the Samro web portal, where you can also keep your personal information and banking details up to date to ensure we can keep in touch and you can get paid. And that's it. Do you get it now, Lyric? That's how the distribution machine works. The more you know, the better life gets with Samro.